It's a diamond and gold simulate Shadow the Hedgehog. They're taking the Sonic characters and turning them into gold diamond simulate. I'm sure you're all aware by now of King Ice and their range of Sonic themed jewellery. Well, His Highness got in touch with me and said, Hey, we'd like to send you the drip. And I said, I'm old. What do you mean by the drip? And they explained that it's what my generation used to call rad or off the hook. So I've got the drip and according to me that means I'm definitely cool. Yay! So now that I have the drip I think we should take a very close look at this. But before we do that I have to go over the sponsorship declaration. Yay! I'd like to thank King Ice for sponsoring this video and as a thank you to viewers of this channel they've provided us with a unique discount code. If you enter Badnik Mechanic at the store checkout you can receive a huge discount from anywhere between 15 and 31% off your order. No really, you can actually save quite a lot of money using my code. For me, I was able to save 15% on this, but they tell me it can go as high as 31. So go get yourself or your friends the drip. And with that out of the way, let's waste no more time and take a good look at the shadow drip. So we'll start off with the packaging, and I know what you're thinking. It's got an old. Yes, unfortunately for me, my box was damaged during shipping, which is a shame because the box itself is really nice. You have a golden Sonic head silhouette on the top, and inside the lid, which is held in place by a magnet, there's even more golden Sonic silhouettes. It just looks cool. Everything about it, it's a really nice presentation. So let's now take a look at the real reason we bought this shadow the hedgehog i can't honestly believe that this actually exists what you're looking at here is a shadow the hedgehog pendant made of 14 karat white and black gold using vvs diamond simulates to make it look like shadow is made of actual diamonds if you're looking at this and your first impressions are that looks really weak and frail it's not it's got a lot of weight to it and it's really hard this thing isn't going to break unless you really apply some force to it the thing that strikes me most of all is the detail on the pendant. There's stuff here which I really wasn't expecting and I'm honestly blown away by the level of quality. Aside from the fact that these are individual stones that make up the body of Shadow, there's not one fault that I can see. Every stone is exactly where it should be and everything is coloured correctly, but the details are so minute that I can't even begin to imagine how painstakingly difficult it must have been to produce this. The thing that strikes me most of all is the detail on the design. There's there's stuff on here which I honestly wasn't expecting and I'm actually quite blown away by the detail and the quality. Each of the fingers are individually defined and he even has individual stones for his eye pupils. But the one thing that I really wasn't expecting was what they did to the underside of his shoes. They actually included every single detail that Shadow has on the bottom of his shoes. Each of the air jets are positioned in their right place and the fabric pattern that goes along the side is also here. It's some very impressive work. Shadow simply looks amazing. There's nothing wrong with it that I could find. Even the chain that comes with the pendant is really nice quality and you could probably wear it on its own if you wanted. Here's the thing though, when you are actually the owner of the drip, what do you actually do with it? You look as cool as I do of course, yes. The drip means that you can wear your sunglasses and drink your wine and soon maidens and milords will flock to you from across the land. I was waiting a while. You know, we need to be honest here. Lots of people are going to want to own the drip, but some people are either not going to be comfortable wearing it outside or find themselves in situations and places where they're not really allowed or it's not appropriate to wear it. So what do you do if you really want the drip, but you're kind of limited with where you can actually wear it? Well, fortunately, 
I have a few ideas. Yes, it was terrible to film in this location. I can barely see anything. The sun is amazingly bright. And I, if I look over there, I was like, oh yes, I can, but you can't see me. But when I look down here, I look evil and scary. So look, nice, like, like, hello, you can't see me, evil. King Ice themselves have designed the packaging so you can actually put the pendant out on display if you don't want to wear it. It's a really neat solution that is literally right out of the box, which is nice. But I've got a few other ideas. So this device is a simple LED cube. You turn it on and the LEDs inside light up and change colours over time. They're relatively simple devices and you can find them at most hobby stores. What happens? if we put shadow on it. So I've removed the chain and I've used some white tack just to ensure that shadow is firmly secured in place. Let's see what happens now when we adjust the lighting. I really hope that the camera does this justice because in person this looks absolutely incredible. In terms of physics, what's actually happening here is that the beams of light are being reflected off each of the individual stones that it comes into contact with, and some of these reflections are actually impacting other stones on the pendant and being reflected again, which is creating some amazing visual effects on the shadow pendant. And because the light emitting from the cube is constantly changing colour, you can actually get a lot of different moods and effects from this. Unfortunately, my camera isn't brilliant at picking this up, but under a red light it actually looks like Shadow is about to perform a Chaos Blast, and under a green light it even looks like he's about to do Chaos Control. And this is amazingly cool, but I think we can go shinier. Did you see that? Did you see that? How, the, how my face went all red and terrifying when I said shinier. If you stand Shadow on a mirror and have a white light shining on him from above, activating light in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> This is one of the most awesome experiments with merch that I've ever done. But why does it look so amazingly bright and shiny, especially compared to the previous experiment when we had bright LEDs shining directly under it? Well boys, we can actually use some basic entry level physics to help explain why Shadow appears so much shinier like this. And if you're an actual master or professor of physics, hello! and. Uh, uh, please don't hurt me. Actually, if um, you are watching this and you are a qualified physicist and um, my explanation that I'm about to do isn't a complete Mickey Mouse nonsense of science babble, which it probably is, please write down below what is actually happening here, why it appears so much shinier like this um, in terms of physics. Unless it is literally because the light is bigger and brighter because I would like to pretend to be smart. Please? So the light rays that emit from the source impact the gems on shadow, and these gems reflect the light in all directions. But some of the light rays miss and fall directly onto the mirror's surface. The mirror is able to reflect these rays in all directions, including back onto shadow. This essentially creates a light reflection chain reaction. You have light rays impacting gems, which are then reflected onto other gems, which in turn are reflected onto other gems before eventually the whole lot enters our eyes and our brains are finally able to register this chaos of light energy that's been bombarded about all over the place. The result of this is that our edgy boy looks amazingly bright and shiny. But would you believe that with one simple trick, we can actually make this look even better. If you're able to rotate either the pendant itself or the light source, what happens is the light rays change where they impact and the angle in which they're reflected also changes. Once your eye detects this, this gives the pendant almost a glistening effect and it looks like a literal diamond. It's not easy to pull off this setup, but if you are able to do it, I highly recommend that this is how you display this because it just looks incredible. So I really hope you've enjoyed this little look at the Shadow the Hedgehog drip 
And I want to give a huge thank you to King Ice for sending it my way once again. King Ice are considering a third wave, at least I really hope they are, because I was blown away by this. I did not think I would enjoy this as much as I would, but it is amazing. If they do a third wave, I really hope they do it similar to this, where we get little, um, you could call them pendanty figurines, I guess. I really want to see more characters. I would love to get a whole cast of the Sonic characters like this. We definitely need to see a Rouge the Bat version of this. Can you imagine a Rouge the Bat in diamonds or, you know, gold-plated diamonds? Simulants. But yeah, you know what I mean. I'd love to see a Rouge figure like this. I would love to see a Blaze figure like this. And we've got to get the boy. We've got to get Big the Cat like this as well, because that would be amazing. Please let me know what your what your thoughts are about this figure in the comments. If you've got any suggestions for characters, please put them down there, because I'm betting King Ice is going to check this out later and see what everybody's thinking. Highly recommend this if you haven't picked it up or any of the King Ice characters. And if you are interested in picking anything up from King Ice's store, don't forget, if you use Badnik Mechanic at checkout, you will get 31% off. Doesn't yet work with the Sonic stuff, but I am told it will do in time. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye. No, no, Shadow, you've got to face that way, because that's where the camera is, that's where the audience is watching. Face that way, Shadow. No, he doesn't want to. Oh, if I tilt my arm like that, it really hurts, but it's the only way I can do it.